we're all here because we love chocolate, but there's no guarantee that our chocolate source is going to be unlimited. Cacao, in many ways, it is still a very understudied, underdeveloped crop. We lose around 48% of the crop every year to pests and diseases. These amazing plants in origin are still only producing 10% of their potential productivity. So we're doing a lot in this greenhouse. Some of the things that we do here are look into different ways of growing and cultivating seedling cacao more rapidly so that farmers have productive planting material sooner. We actually are doing a lot of research in pollination so that we can increase the productivity of the tree. I'm trying to figure out what kind of markers can associate with drought tolerance and then in identifying these ones, we can translate that over to breeding projects. If we can make these improvements, we can allow farmers to yield more from the plants that they already grow. The thing that I'm most excited about working on right now is what we're doing with modern sustainable cocoa farming, bringing in shade trees, agroforestry systems, kind of a little bit more diversified system with some cover crops in addition to just the cocoa trees. That's going to help climate change and it's going to help farmers. Pests and diseases of cacao are a huge problem. We believe we can actually solve this issue through science, basically. So we need to test the trees to make sure that they are safe and they are healthy. I speak for all of us in saying I feel incredibly fortunate to come into work here every day because this greenhouse is, is kind of like a factory for discovery. The science that's going on here is going to completely transform the impact that cocoa has on the climate. We truly can take the industry to the, the next level. We've also got a real responsibility to do this. In this greenhouse, the impact potential we have on both thriving people and a thriving planet is unbelievable. Mm -hmm.